It's a fake, isn't it? What's a fake? Your Piltdown man. This thing that's taken the world by storm, the discovery of this century. It's all made up, a hoax. Come on, don't be shy. None of it makes any sense. Where it was found, how it was found, the shape of the head. It's obvious even to the layman, and I count myself as one. I'm going. Wait, Arthur. No, I'm getting my coat and my hat. Stay if you like. I had a feeling he was up to something. You're wrong, Doyle. You're off your game. And if you pursue this line of attack, you'll be made a fool of. At the very least, you'll be hearing from my solicitor. How dare you accuse me? I didn't accuse Any you of How directly. dare you? I have no idea who perpetrated this fraud. I'm only certain that it is a fraud. I'm also certain that the culprit will be found, and whoever he is, he should be made to pay. Have you heard enough? I should think, Arthur, you'd be most eager to have this matter investigated. It is, after all, your museum. It's not a fake. I examined it. Precisely. In your opinion and your opinion only, that's a matter of record and no one else. You're accusing me, then? I didn't say that. But you believe these two gentlemen have, uh, what? Made a fake of this? Or you? One of the three of you is a fraud and the other two are paying for it. Don't you have anything better to do? Or two of you, or all three, whatever it is, the whole thing is... He thinks he's a character in one of his stories. I smell a rat. Talk about truth versus fantasy. You believe in ghosts. He believes in fairies, did you know that? World-famous Sir Arthur Conan Doyle believes in hobgoblins and trolls. Trolls that creep neath the foliage of the forest floor. I believe in justice and that's all I'm talking about here. 